Hello and welcome back to Broadside Game with me, Zug. And today we're going to be taking a look at a build I've been working on for a little bit. And I'll just caveat this with saying this is in no way a meta build. And this is more something I just find funny and I've been trying to make work. And it kind of does. But again, this is not a hardcore meta build. Okay. All right. So this is the Hobo with a shotgun build. And I'll show you why. And this is how we build it. So we're going with confirmed kill, replenish 25% toughness on elite kill and a further 25% toughness over time. You'll be using your special ammunition to pop elites and specials. Tactical reload, 20% reload speed if you have ammo in your weapon. You'll be using this because you'll have between 13 to 14 shots in the Agrippina shotgun. And just reload before you hit zero and you've got a faster reload. Next, we'll be using Bioptic Targeting. Volley Fire designates non ogrin elites and specials as priority targets for all allies in Coherency. It's just a very good talent. And it helps pick stuff out. Uh, unwavering Focus. 75% toughness damage reduction from range attacks during Volley Fire. As this build is, you're going to be on the move quite a bit more. I usually would go for Camo Expert, but we won't be standing still for very long. So, Unwavering Focus is the best way to go, especially with... Uh, how often volley fire is up and refreshing. Next, we have one shot after another, 30% reload speed on elite and special kills. As again, I said, you're going to be prioritizing elites and specials. This is going to keep that shotgun topped up at all times. And lastly, we're going for counter fire, 25% weak spot damage during volley fire. Volley fire now designates all shooters as priority targets. Killing a designated enemy during volley fire refreshes its duration. So with this and this, volley fire is going to be up a lot of the time and especially with this as well it's now designating everyone apart from Ogrins so you should be able to keep counter fire up generally all the time if you can I know with this build you are losing demolition stockpile which is always useful so if you really want to you can switch out tactical reload for demolition stockpile but you're losing some reload speed but that is totally up to you as I said, this is not a meta build. It's not set in stone. If you have a different way to build it, let me know. So, as I said, we're using the Agrippina Mark 7 Combat Shotgun. Uh, the build's not completely finished yet. This is just something I've been working on in the downtime between other videos and other builds. But what we're generally going to be going for is flak and manic damage in the perks. And the blessings, I'm sticking with Terrifying Barrage just because more suppression means you're not getting shot very often and i'm using a new uh, melee weapon for this uh, i'm actually trying out the chainsaw because the power swords make me sad now and i'm not spending the next 30 years trying to get a maxed out power cycle for them you can always go with an axe or a latrine shovel i just find the chainsaw funnier latrine shovels are always good very good at uh, first target hits penetration and defense Whereas the chainsaw, it's just more versatile. And it does quite a lot of damage. But as I said, the melee weapon is mostly up to you. You can pick whatever you like. I've just picked the chainsaw because I quite like it. And also I think it fits in with the whole hobo with shotgun aesthetic. Uh, for the curios, I've just gone with a, a spread of toughness, a wound and health. Toughness, generation, toughness, corruption, resistance. It's just because it had corruption resistance on it. Toughness, toughness regeneration and combat ability regeneration. Keep that volley fire up. And more toughness, toughness generation and combat agility, uh, combat ability regeneration again to keep volley fire up. These are in no way best in slot. This is just what I have at the time of recording. As I've been rolling a lot of curios lately and I, I, my, I just can't do it anymore. I can't sit there for an hour trying to roll a decent curio. So this is what we're using. And it works fine, to be honest. But yeah, so this is my super quick guide to a hobo with shotgun. It's very amusing. In no way meta. But it is different. And also it's nice that the shotguns are actually pretty usable now. I'm not a huge fan of the Lawbringer. But... I do like the Agrippina, especially with the Solid Slug special ability. 
you can pop the heads on most things with it with relative ease. It's got a decent spread and damage. But like I said, just make sure you're uh, keeping an eye on your reloads. So thanks very much for watching, folks. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, please like, subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications. It really does help us out. Until next time, take it easy. I'll see you later.